Hello and welcome, Richard Schneeman here. Hopefully by now, if you've been following along for 10 weeks, you know that. If not, it's okay. People call me Schneems on the internet. I've had a number of people write in and say, hey, we love your class, we think it's great, but once it's done, what do we do? What, where do we go from there? So the obvious, uh, obvious next step is to, well, keep on going, keep learning. What I've taught you is definitely a fraction of what's available out there, but you can't know everything. Uh, above and beyond uh, anything else, I highly recommend finding a project that you're passionate about or that you're interested in. Um, if you were in the class, that actually attended the class, all the students were required to work on a project. Most of them have gotten very, very involved on it, actually went way above and beyond actually what I was asking them to do and have even mentioned that they're interested in continuing it uh, moving on after the class. And um, I highly recommend this. Learning, uh, having your own project and and doing things, having something come out of your mind and, and actually onto the internet where other people can get to it and see it, that's that's amazing. Um, highly recommend, if you're going to do that, get it onto Heroku as soon as possible. Get it out there and get other people at least the ability to see it. it it'll, it'll feel real. It'll seem real. Um, you know, just get excited about it. Definitely, we've gone through and talked about documentation and we've talked about Googling and looking at uh, previous exercises and, and ex examples, uh, definitely you can come back and if you have questions, uh, look at what we've done in this class. Uh, so you have all the tools you need. Uh, you know, a good programmer is good at uh, looking up documentation and good at Googling. Uh, there's also a number of really good high quality resources that we haven't really talked about. Uh, get involved in the community, please. I go to Austin on Rails quite frequently, and there's Austin RB. Hopefully, there's uh, similar user groups near nearby. You can just Google your uh, your city, your your town. Um, maybe if not, then you can try and start some. You can you can try and find some people, and uh, you know everyone will love you for it. It's uh, it's a great experience to connect and actually see the people who are doing similar things, and they will talk about their, their shared experiences. Now, notice one common misconception. These aren't necessarily for help sessions. They're not necessarily for like, oh, I have an immediate question. I, I need to go to these guys uh, because most of them work full time, and they're, they're not coming with the expectation that they're going to field, uh, field tech questions. Um that's more for something like Stack Overflow or uh, or, or forums. But uh, if you're working on something and you find somebody else who's done a similar thing, you know maybe you can say, "Hey, let's uh, let's get together and pair on this sometime, or, or pair pair on that. Um, let's let's work together and um, try to get really involved in your community." And it, it's it's helped a ton. Uh, and, Whenever, if you find something that you didn't know about, see if you can give a uh, sign up to do a presentation on it. Maybe you know it doesn't have to be thirty minutes, doesn't have to be intense. Just five, ten minutes. Just say I want to give a give a quick presentation. Um, def that's that's been very 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 helpful to me. Um, I am also a member of uh, a number of online communities. You can uh, so Reddit is one of them. Reddit slash R slash Ruby and slash R slash Rails are some areas where people have um, are are posting questions and as well as posting a uh, number of materials. There's a really uh, good website called RubyFlow dot um, com, I believe, and they have uh, people post relatively uh, recent uh, Ruby news as well as uh, Ruby Weekly is something that I subscribe to. It's a it's a weekly email list. Um, I check. There's some pretty good good Ruby stuff on Hacker News occasionally, uh, news.ycombinator.com. Of course, I certainly check um, Railscasts, and it, it, Railscasts is an excellent resource. But it, if you take anything away from this, it's please practice. Go out there, practice your craft, learn, um, and create. Really, it's it's all about building things and uh, and, and creating things. Um, if you're interested in other resources for continued actual structured learning like this, then I recommend um, there's a, the, the book that I actually taught myself how to use Rails and a little bit of Ruby was um, Agile Web Development with Rails. I strongly recommend that. If you've gone through this entire course, you are more than equipped to get quite a bit out of it. And that uh, that book doesn't necessarily start from a true beginner standpoint, but um, you will uh, it, you'll, it'll walk you through building a product, and you'll definitely get some more information. But um, 
at the end of the day, if you don't have a project you're also working on that you're you're actually interested in in seeing come to life, um, then you you might find yourself just copying and pasting examples or you know typing things in and not understanding exactly why or how they work. Uh, but if you have to take those examples and modify them to meet your needs, it really really helps and accelerates that learning. Uh, so agile web development with uh, Rails was was one venue. If you're interested in learning more about Ruby, there's a uh, wise poignant guide to Ruby is free and online. Um, one of my favorite books about um, the internals of Ruby and, and some of the crazy stuff you can do with it is uh, Metaprogramming Ruby. And you might also hear of something called Pickaxe. It, it's the um, canonical just Ruby book uh, written by pragmatic programmers. I'm a big fan of the content that pragmatic programmers puts out. Uh, that's a little bit, I treat that as a little bit more of a reference and, uh, it, you could read it cover to cover, but it, it's, uh, it's pretty dense. Um, so yeah, definitely. Thank you for stopping by. If you have questions or you have comments, if, uh, if you thought I did something incredibly well, feel free to shoot that over. Definitely. I, I take your feedback very, very seriously. A large portion of this class was actually built on user feedback, having people come back and say, okay, well, you know, I understood this, I like this, but I need some more information on this other thing. Uh, and again, please tell your friends, tell your tell your coworkers, post online. Uh, I'm trying to make this as good of a class as humanly possible. So if there's any way that you see I could do that better, then uh, then let me know. Thank you very much for sticking with me all this time. Again, my name is Richard Schneeman. Have a great day.